Hey, Mike. Wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Um, want to tell you, man, a couple things in life that you've been able to uh, own. Being a man, being a father, being a husband, and being a leader. I've never known you, I've never known people like you that insist on doing what you do without someone saying, hey man, you're the best, hey man, you're this, hey man, you're that. You know, you, you never led with talk. You led by example. And there's plenty of instances in my career of coaching you that uh, without hesitation, you, uh, you delivered. You know, my whole career of coaching, whole thing, Football, baseball, hockey. I'd say I had this cat, man. Badass dude. Never complained. Never yelled. Never looked for glory. But brought his A-game to every game. He set the pace. He set the tempo. His name? Mike Leach. Very proud to have been part of your uh, early years of uh, athletics. Uh, very proud to have... Ben, I'm just going to say it, man. Ben there that night when you walked in and you were going to take care of some business. And I said, let's take care of it, man. I'm with you. I'm very proud to say that in football games, you're the guy that got me to say, I don't care if you get 15, but it better be a good one. You know, for your uh, 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 Kelly... And, 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 and for, for Kelly and, the, and your kids, I'm going to give you an example of who your father was and will always be legend with the West Side Boosters because of it. We played a team called Barton. Barton was a uh, team in the northern suburbs, I think, southern. I don't even know anymore, but they were way out there. Brooklyn Center, Brooklyn Park, whatever they were. And when we arrived... There was all kinds of people there, and what we were being yelled at was this. We were called spick. We were called nigger. We were called names that I was furious about. Go home. Go get on your boat. Cross that river. All that kind of stuff. Within 20 minutes, two, three busloads, it's a fact, of our fans on the west side pull up. Going crazy, man. Rudy Cervantes had that horn. Bop, 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 bop. And uh, Shadem. And, and all these guys were there. And all these women were there also. Don't cut them short, man. They were brutal. It was a wonderful time to be in my shoes. And Mike, in your shoes too. But uh, when that happened, we were warming up uh, jumping jacks, whatever. And I yelled, I turned, I walked to the front of the line, and I turned and I yelled to the team, hey, hey, everybody listen up right now. And everybody stood and listened. And I said, the only reason I woke up today, the only reason I woke up this morning, and I paused and I turned and pointed at the other team, and I said was to kick their fucking ass. Let me tell you something, we did. But let me tell you what happened on the second play now. Now I'm talking about Mike Leach, badass linebacker. Holy shit, I can't believe that's what he did. And I'm the one that was going crazy, yet I'd still get yelled at from Larry. But that's okay. That's Larry Lucio, of course. They had a really good uh, end and a really good quarterback. In the end, lollygagged across the middle. We had talked about this, but on the second play, this cat lollygags across the middle. And all you hear is this thunk. It was one of the most vicious hits I've seen at that level. Keep in mind, Mike was uh, a ninth grader, probably six feet tall. I have no clue what he weighed. But Mike, you were a bitch. You were, you were built rocket, man. And uh, game stopped. <laughs> you kind of looked at me and I wanted to laugh, but I couldn't laugh because I got to be respectable. Yet I loved it. But they took him off the field. We went on to just throttle them guys. One instance of how Mike, how you set the tone in, in a game, and you set the tone in many games. Your leadership is un, 
your your leadership no one was a second to you we can talk about gerald we can talk about whoever the other guys were but at the end of the day it was you <laughs> i loved it man uh you've given me so much adrenaline and 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 and, and fight to coach others and I never found anybody like you. I found closest, but not like you. I see, I see your wife, Kelly. Kelly, it, without you, I don't know where Mike goes. I'm, and I, I'm, I'm kind of semi-joking, but really I'm not. Behind a great man is a better woman. Your kids, they obviously are wonderful people. I don't know them, but I've seen the photos, the travel, what have you. And it's just badass, man, to see that that's where you're at. And I... Personally, I love it, man. I love it. I'm out here in New Jersey. I see, I, I see my grandkids, my son Jason, my daughter. I'm headed to Minnesota uh, for the for the for the for the uh, New Year's Eve weekend to see my daughter, my son, his wife, and my grandson Anthony. And uh, it's just cool. So I'm here to applaud you. When you played for the Silver and Black, it was the very first year of silver and black. And uh, it was my first year with the silver and black. And this idea of rock'em sock'em, I'm just gonna say it flat out, we're gonna kick your ass football. That was you. Aside from all your talents on the football field, I'm only going football. Aside from all your talents on the football field, you, uh, you had this air that said, not only am I going to win, but follow me. And we did. It's pretty nice, Mike. Um, I hope your kids uh, appreciate, and I know they do, who and what you really are. It's a tremendous thing to be uh, accomplished. And I don't mean about your, your job. I understand you're successful in, 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 in education, and Kelly's successful in the nursing, but... To be successful as parents, man, you, you, you create this chain that your kids almost don't have the option to do but to follow you to. Kelly, I applaud you too, man. Yeah, we all know it ain't pretty and it ain't, it ain't all pretty and it ain't all clean and it ain't all no, no, no bumps. You're talking to the guy that I think I created bumps, okay, in the road. But, but this notion and, 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 and knowing that you guys have succeeded in so much. It's just, it's a tremendous feeling to be, Mike, to be the guy that uh, I'll take 15, but it better be good. That's kind of life in a, in, a, in a nutshell. You gotta give up to get, you gotta get to give up and all that kind of stuff that goes with it. So enjoy your birthday. You're turning 60, <laughs> check it out, man. Welcome to the 60 Club, because that's where I am. <laughs> I'm a bit older, six, seven years older. But welcome to the 60 Club. Hey, if I would not if, when I see you on the next time, give me a hug, man. You know, I hug with Larry. Every time I see Larry, we hug. Larry, Tony Medellin, both say happy birthday. And congratulations on a wonderful life, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. I'm so thankful to know you, to have coached you, to see you play, to see you grow through life, to watch your family dynamic, to know you got a beautiful wife, three great kids, and uh, you'll have a you'll have a great time from here on out because it gets better. It's a tremendous feeling. So with that, peace, love, and happiness to you, Kelly, and your kids. And uh, Mike, always, always, I have a big chunk of heart carved out for you. I mean that sincerely. Your uh, coach, friend, whatever you want to call it. Doug Reese Sr. signing off here, man. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. And you guys enjoy the evening. Take care, my brother. Bye now.